Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Celtic Warband here, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of my Mead campaign for Total War Thrones of Britannia. And Gwenid is on her last legs. We're sieging the capital city right now. You can see that we've got them completely surrounded by a very good army here. All of them have level 3 armor and weapons upgrades. And we've also got some wood spears here as well, which is good. So we've upgraded them from the Spear Raiders. We've also pushed in because Wessex has actually taken Gwened as her vassal, which in turn has made us um, enemies with the Anglo-Saxons. But what I just noticed is that it actually didn't draw in any of their vassals, so we're not actually at war with any of their vassals. It's only with uh, the Anglo-Saxons themselves. And I see two armies down here, but they're actually fighting the Normans who are just going ham over here. You can see they've already spread very, very far to the uh, east to this uh, tribe Sent here. So it looks like Sent kind of holds most of the outer regions and port cities, but we're not at war with them. But the Normans just taking a ton of territory here. So Wessex is really having a lot of trouble. So I'm going to be trying to grab as much territory as I can here. Uh, and actually, I wonder if I can get another general here. Upkeep for missile units, that would be useful. So yeah, let's let, let's get this guy over here. And uh, we're just going to ha have him start to go and take some of these empty territories here. And actually, probably same over here as well. Let's get this guy. Is going to be extra, extra money that we're going to have to pay in upkeep, but we're making 12k per turn right now, so I think that we're pretty solid. Again, we're going to have to watch out for rebellions, though. That is one thing we're going to have to be careful with. So let's just make sure that we upgrade all of our troops here. We've got the Freeman Archers, which is excellent, and uh, we should be getting the Currents, and the Wood Currents should be following very soon. So let's retrain all of these and upgrade them. Upgrade those there. War is what we do best. Giving all them gold. Very nice. So yeah, 12k per turn. Really, really solid income. And what to build? What to build here? They're still low on food, so I'm going to have to probably upgrade that a little bit more. Extra money from farm. No, let's go for the corruption building for sure. Because I think that's why my income is so good is because those corruption buildings, they far outweigh the $250 or 250 gold upkeep cost on the building itself, I think that it really cuts down on the corruption levels because some of my provinces were at like uh, 30 or 40% for the corruption. But yep, we've got seven siege towers here and we have one ram, so let's go ahead and take this uh, capital city from Gwened. All right, guys, welcome to the battlefield. And we've got more than enough siege equipment to take the walls here. We've got seven towers, which is excellent. So we're basically just going to overwhelm the defenses. They're not going to be able to hold out too long. And it looks like they've actually put some of their units over that way, which is very interesting. So let's uh, push right for the gate, because I've got a lot of good cavalry that can help us to grab those walls. I'm just basically going to charge everything up there that I can. And this one there. And let's move the horse boys a little bit closer to this side. Let's get the archers up there to start firing. Uh, javelins we could probably get up there as well. And, yeah, the cavalry will keep in the trees nice and close. And the spears will be moving up as well. Good, good, good. Alright, 
Oh, good luck, Welsh archers. Good luck. Where are you even fire? <laughs> Where are you guys firing at there? Archers start to fire on those jabs. Javelins get up there as well. There we go. We're starting to answer. Oh, yeah. We've got some mailed swordsmen over here, actually. Let's try and focus on them. Ah, oh, and they disappeared. That's annoying. Let's move our archers up then. This is good, though, because they're not actually getting good shots off because they keep deciding uh, on a different area of the battlefield that they're going to hold from. So that is very good. Uh, looks like they're actually pulling some of their forces over here. So let's keep the cavalry close by. We're, uh, they can reach us. These towers, I mean. They can reach the horsemen, but if we get this gate down fast enough yeah this is gonna be quite quick I think so because they don't have really any good units that are holding the the causeway there we go what do we got here those are spearmen so I don't want to push up there just yet Oh, yeah, these Eric Swordsmen are going to have a little bit of a tough time. And there we go. That's our cue to get these horses in. Let's get the horse boys up here as well. General moving in. Spears pushing in as well. Looks like they're going to try and plug the gap here with those spearmen. Are they pouring oil on my cavalry? Oh, my goodness, they are. Dang. Did not expect that. Swing. Oh, that was char <laughs> charging into my own own backs there. The backs of my own men. There we go. There's some levy javelins. Let's try and go after them before I lose my horsemen completely. There we go. We got some reinforcements over here, which will help. Oh, my goodness. My general is engaged. That is not good. Good thing I've got these current axemen over here that's going to help save my general from a grisly fate here. This poor unit of Eric Swordsman here. Struggling. Uh, archers can stop. Let's get the horse boys up here. And we've got this unit over here as well that's just not doing anything. So where is the center? Way over here. We My goodness. The there we go. We've got the gates. And here, you guys will enjoy this this charge. It's a charge. That's it. Nice rainy day as we flank around these Welsh swordsmen. Charge. I hope they add the Blood and Gore DLC soon. That is an awesome screenshot, too. Yeah, we basically got them surrounded on the walls at this point. Let's actually peel this unit more behind to flank around there. More Welsh swordsmen here. Let's get the general kind of to safety. And I bet you their general's way back in the town center there. Let's get these horse boys in. Let's get the archers in as well. They should be breaking very shortly. The battle is turning in our favor. Let's get the general over here, see if we can get a nice charge into their backs. And we've got a little bit of a glitch there. Trying to form up before they go in to melee. Yeah, these Welsh mailed swordsmen, though, they're going to do quite well. Let's see if we can get a cheeky little charge here from behind the tower that'll do it instant break perfect perfect let's get the general over here into the backs of these guys probably gonna lose my Eric horseman here which is too bad I don't really want to lose these valuable units ready 
Here comes the general. Nice charge into the backs of them too. Just hope he doesn't die. Old general. And yeah, there's their general. Ah, oh, it's a spear unit too, dang it. No, don't lose my cavalry. Oh, that sucks. That's okay, we can build more. We can build more. Let's actually send all my archers to deal with that unit of spears there. Okay, one survived, so I'll hold him back. Out of range of all the towers if possible. Well done to these Welsh spears over here. They just broke though as I as I said that. Strike now! Your walls will fall! Ready now! An entire unit! Oh yeah, horse boys would actually be good against them. Let's go ahead and fast forward though. We definitely have this in the bag. Losing quite a bit of men though. Yeah, about uh, 600. Actually, that general may even break before we even get there. I hope we held on to our horsemen, though. There we go. Just start firing at that general. And I should probably get the rest of my units up here. There we go. Victory. And let's end the battle before we take any more unnecessary casualties. Alright guys. So yeah, unfortunately losing one of my horseman units. But the other one did hold on. Uh, I just lost them all to the burning oil. I didn't notice that we didn't capture the gates there. So I should be able to drop in another one, except I'm $8 off. Really? Well, eight, 8 gold or whatever. Ah, that sucks. Should change some of these spears over maybe for the gallo glass, though. There we go. Switched over a few of them. And I don't have any money to repair. Actually. Well, it won't hurt. It, this, this army will have to sit here for a little while anyways. To recoup itself. So I guess we can just end the turn. And I did think that I saw a 20 stack from the Anglo-Saxons closing in. Ooh. Well, that's not good. All regions are still quite happy, though, which is good, except for the ones that I'm conquering. Yeah, I saw a 20 stack over here, and I'm a little concerned about that. Wonder if I can grab another force here. What do I want in it though? Let's get six of them. Four of them. Two horse boys. And to victory! Let's leave them. Go full out. Hmm. Let's leave them there for now because I don't want them to take attrition. Let's get another horse unit there for you. Retrain you. And you, sir, have leveled up. So you're a siege engineer. Your loyalty is five, which is good. A 
immune to snow attrition. That's so useful. Let's just get some extra food. Why not? The men are eager to get and you're going to start to grab these territories for me. Right then. Got it. We've got a small force at... Uh, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but it looks like when it is trying to come back here. Okay, so we got a little little abbey here. Ooh, a gold mine. Nice. And it looks like that's that's the next one in the province. So what about what about here? That one. So we need to grab that one next. And then take that settlement. Maybe I should just get go all out on this this army here. Cuz I mean, we've got the income for it. So that's 13. So that's an 18 stack there. That's all right for now. Leave it at that. Let's just get rid of that. Repair the church. What is this? Royal Law Court. Uh, so we'll repair that, and then it looks like that's their corruption building. So we'll convert that, repair that. And yeah, we're going to need to get rid of this and get some public order buildings in here for sure. To kind of hold things best. down. And let's actually move you over to here. Eight. Just to get you a little bit closer. Yeah, so we're working on that. That's fine. That's fine. We've still got 9k left. So where can we put it? And see my food income dropping like that. I'm going to have to watch increasing these two. I guess it's only an extra 15 so it's not too substantial. I know that's really expensive, but we should probably upgrade that. Eager to get to it. Our bravery is legendary. Nailed Fianna and that army. That's a small army as well. Guess we'll hold on to what we've got left. Like, I hope that... Is is Stratclute at war with this faction? Are they losing to them? Where is this, this faction here? Oh, so they're... They're wrecking Stratclute. That's why. Hmm... My time is precious. Do not waste it. Okay, so they could become potential enemies. Which is a little bit worrisome. I'm hoping that they don't go after us. Anyways, another end turn. Okay, so this is... Yeah, okay. Wow. Wow. So they are starting to push forwards. That's annoying too that Gwened was able to grab so many troops. So they got a 14 stack. So I'm glad I brought this 20 stack down. But I'm surprised that they have these armies because are they just going to allow the Normans to Success take all their territory? Power. Looks like we got some better legitimacy. We can't. For the glory of the gales. Kill them all! The men are eager to get to it. Already. Okay. So let's bring you and to here. Glory, none shall stand against us. Hmm. 
eager to get to it. You come in against that. And siege it. Fear us for the Morrigan. And you grab that. I know we're trespassing, which isn't ideal, but on it. All right. Grand Manor Farm. Interesting. Governor Felcar. Your loyalty is four. That's getting a little little close to, for my liking. And your loyalty is two, but that's probably because of the governors and estates. So let's grab that, give this to Zero. Does that solve it for everyone? Where is this guy? He's a general. There we go. I sorted it, because, ooh, I do not want a general rebelling against me right now. So he's six, so... Oh, dang, that's not what I want. Because he's a general, so quartermaster for him. No chance. And Strackley getting this for getting this army days. over here. It's just kind of annoying. Go full out. So if they come in here and attack me next turn, which they probably are... I think we're just gonna break off the siege here. All warriors retreat and pull On back next Warpath. to this army. And this army will us. pull down. How far can this Not army possible. move? I can't see. So let's pull you. this army down Order to here. Orders. Dang it! Can't fortify. Which is fine. That's fine. No. All right. Oh, yeah, 13k. Might as well spend that on something. Let's actually start from the bottom and see what we can upgrade here. Here we go. So let's get the church up and the estate up. How much was that? 5,000. How much is this? 3,000. Aha, okay. Ooh, we could put an estate here. Because it's seven right now. Plus we got the corruption building. Yeah, let's do that, sure. And yeah, might as well put the capital up as well. The only buildings I can still afford are the mining buildings. I can upgrade the fi Oh, hold on. Yeah, let's... Oh, no. Hmm. You'll have to wait on that there. Yeah, let's convert that to the corruption building. Keep destroying that. And get the fishing up here. Good, good, good. Okay, they're coming. They're coming down this way. So they're splitting up their forces, which is interesting. They put a 20 stack in there. So plus their garrison, but I think 220 stacks of my own would be able to defeat them, but that would be a My massive battle. Grows greater. 
So why is the war fervor decreasing here? The Welsh Rebellion. So who declared war on Wessex, I wonder? And technology's done, so let's go through the cavalry. So who did they lose as a vassal here? Oh, this faction. Oh. Don't make me regret admitting you to my hearth. Why would you not want a defensive pact with me? I'm at war with your enemy. But that's that's huge. So now they've got even more. Oh no, it's not this faction. Sorry, it's this faction down here. I see. So yeah, Wessex is in a bit of trouble here. And I'm just going to scoop up as much as their of their territory as I can. There we go. Let's convert that to a priory there. Show no mercy. War is what we do best. All right. So let's siege this again here. Seven, eight. How many can I get here? Is that it for right now? I guess I could probably get more later on. Bring me there, sir. We are eager for glory. And on the war path. Secure the Let's fortify there so they should be in range. Looks like they are. It's still not giving us good odds though. It's a bunch of militia though. That's kind of annoying I took a ton of attrition just there like that but all right and then we're gonna pull you back and I kind of don't like this army anymore now that we've got got all these guys breathing down our necks so let's which ones are the better ones these are the better ones so we'll leave the four spears. Actually, yeah, that's fine. And then let's get four of them. Wood currents there. Three of them. Get some more solid units in there. So that's all right for now. Kill them all. But this army could be in a little bit of trouble. Impossible. Yeah, that's a that's a good force. Oh, and this is actually their king too. Dang. Okay, let's get this guy. And what do we have in the pool here? Eight axes, which is awesome. Four spears. Four archers. So, hurting the income a little bit there. But let's break off this siege as well. And come closer to here. And we won't be able to fortify, which is fine. But I can upgrade these guys now to wood kerns. You've leveled up, so let's get scribe ship. That'll bump up our economy just a little bit more. And you're a general with zero loyalty.
Hmm. Let's torture him. Let's see if that works. Yeah, that that puts some fear into his heart. There we go. This this king is not interested in taking any guff. Well done, well done there. So yeah, uh, Wessex is holding their own here, but I'm just a little concerned that as they bring their armies in against us, they're just allowing the Normans to basically take over everything. And look at this, this faction is actually rose up against them as well. So Wessex is actually on the back foot, I think. How many vassals do they have left? They've got three. Sent... Gwened, which is almost dead, and Defena. So they're at war with Wessex now. Yeah, so mm, Wessex is having a bit of bit of trouble here, that's for sure. But this war fervor is worrying me as well. Border wars and such. All right. All right, Anglo-Saxons, what are you going to do? So he's brought his other army all the way up there. Plotting. Where is this guy? It's this guy here, eh? Well, you might accidentally get killed in battle, I think, sir. Uh, what do I need in here? Some cavalry probably do do well. None shall stand against us. Tactical okay, well I I wanted we this army to come in you. as well. Our foes will tremble. Heading for glory. Get them not. There we go. And we could fight this, but it looks like a really good auto resolve in our favor, so let's uh let's be aggressive here and see what happens. Oh, is that their king dead? Oh, it is. Is I thought I think that's their king. Did I lose any units in total? I didn't. Not even the cavalry that I just hired. 12% uh, replenishment. Definitely take that. Actually, can I look at that again? Where was that? Yeah, it doesn't say. Let's go ahead and resiege this. Bring me there, and don't worry for those of you guys that want to see Our some battles. We will have fall. some very shortly against Wessex. Very soon. Don't Send fall. these guys off to take Gwened's last settlement. Um, they're... Looks like they're going to take that settlement. I'm just going to let them, and we'll just continue taking their territories here. Oh, yeah, occupy that. Another mine. All of these mines here. And what, what else do I need in here? So how much movement range do I need? No way. Can't do that. You can do that. For the glory of the gales. Away to war. 50% Start probably. Digging in here. It's all right for now. So yeah, this army is stuck. And this army is gone. They do have another army down here, but it won't be able to reach us this turn. My and I think that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. So, yeah, we are pushing into 
England without too much opposition. Like I said, most of most of Gwynedd has been destroyed. We've got all of their cities under our control. Uh, we'll just have to figure out where we're going to be investing our money into these English provinces because it's probably going to have to be pretty heavily into public order because there's just mines everywhere. And these mines are really going to affect uh, the the speed at which I can move forwards because I'm going to have to be worried about rebellions that will be rising up uh, while I'm away campaigning further into England. But that's a problem for next episode. So thanks very much for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this in the future. And as always, I will see you in the next one.